Okay, let's rock this bitch. Welcome back! It's good to see you again. We're finally getting into the Ghost of Halloween Past, aka how I made some of the costumes and props for my past Halloween videos. Starting off hot with Jennifer Check, aka Megan Fox, <laughs> and her infamous pink heart sweater that was in Jennifer's body. I thrifted a similar sweater, one that was fairly close in color, but the catch was it did not have the hearts or the zipper. It did, however, have the middle pocket that would actually be cut in half, which hers also does. I figured out where the middle of the pocket was. And cut that right open, feeling a little bit like I was dissecting it, but I digress. After I had cut it down the middle, I overlapped each edge and sewed it into itself to take away the chances of it fraying. Once both were done, I got myself a red zipper from my stash of DIY and pinned that down to where it looked the best and went to town on it till it was properly placed. Now, if a basic sweater being altered is enough to tickle your fancy for this costume, you can definitely leave it like that. But I spent the next few hours of each day, as you'll be able to actually tell through the next, um, I don't know, million clips or so, drawing on hearts. You can use some actual fabric paint for this, but those tend to be expensive and not as readily available as acrylic paint, considering you can get that from the dollar store. So I made my own. I have done this process before in another DIY you'll probably see one day, hopefully, fingers crossed. But essentially, you mix up your acrylic paint until they are pretty much the color you want. Customize it as best as possible. Just make it a little bit darker than you want it to turn out at the end. Then pour some fabric or textile medium in there, using about a half to half ratio. If you do want the color to be a little bit softer to the touch, but also softer in the look, you can also add in some fabric, guess what, softener in there. But I do prefer it to be more pigmented. I did have to do this a few times so the colors weren't identical, but they were similar enough that I still love the sweater and it could definitely pass for a, enough of a pre-blood cover Jennifer. <laughs> now when I say I spent hours the next few days doing these, I was definitely not exaggerating. This portion of the project is tedious and time consuming. but I found it easiest to make a heart shape out of some tape and then fill that in each time to keep the shape as consistent as possible. And then, oh yeah, do that about a million times. 
To get the lines to be as clean as possible, I put down the piece of tape that was heart shaped. I would use one end of the brush that I was using, the harder end, to push down all the corners so it, as soon as I would put the paint down, it wouldn't bleed nearly as much. Some of them I did have to fix up, but for the most part, they kept pretty clean.
But that is it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoy and I hope you're looking forward to the next little installment of the kind of belated Halloween series. <laughs> a little bit of a mix from this new year so far.